Hi everybody, this is Rob Windsor, and in this SharePoint developer walkthrough, I want to show you how to deploy a farm solution containing a web part to SharePoint 2013. What I'm going to show you will also work with SharePoint 2016, but it won't work with SharePoint Online. You can't deploy farm solutions to SharePoint Online. I'm recording this video in response to some questions I've seen on forums indicating that developers are having trouble getting their web parts to work once they've deployed them to an environment other than their developer machine. We'll start by creating a simple web part. The focus of this video isn't development, uh, but I do want to start at the beginning so you can follow along easily. So I'll come over to Visual Studio and choose New Project. I'll choose an empty SharePoint 2013 project and click OK. I'm going to use one of my local SharePoint sites for debugging. I'm going to deploy this as a farm solution and click Finish to create the project. Now that the project has been created, I'll add the web part. I'll right click on the project and choose Add, New Item. I'll pick Visual Web Part for Farm Solutions. I'll call this My Web Part and I'll click Add to add the web part item. Now that the web part's been created, I'll add in a very simple user interface. We're just going to put out hello world. So h2 and hello world. Now there are some files in the Solution Explorer associated with the web part I want to take a look at. So let me come over to the Solution Explorer, close references, scroll down to my web part. And the first file I want to open up is the element manifest. That's elements XML. In this file, I can set the group for the web part. The web part gallery is organized in groups to make it easier to find individual web parts. We can set the name of the group here. I'll set it to AA My Web Part Demo. I put the AA so this group will be shown at the top of the groups just makes it easier for this demo. And the other file I want to open is the mywebpart.webpart file. This is the file that goes into the web part gallery. And in here I can set the title and description of the web part. These values are shown when the user is going to add a web part to the web part page. So I want to set the title for the web part to my web part with spaces. And I can add a description. Uh, we'll just say that this is a demo web part. And the last thing I want to do before I deploy is make some changes to the feature. So I'll come up to the Solution Explorer and double click on the feature. That'll open up the Feature Designer. And I want to set the title of the feature to something more descriptive. So I'll put here AA Deploy Demo Web Part. And again, I put the AA, so this will show at the top of the features, just so it's easier to find. This feature will be deploying the mywebpart.webpart file to the web part gallery. That's why the feature is site collection scoped, because the web part gallery lives in the root site of the site collection. Now we're ready to deploy our solution. So I'll come up to the Solution Explorer. Right click on the solution and choose Deploy. This is going to create a solution package for our project and it's going to deploy it to my developer environment. And it's also going to activate the feature contained in the solution, which will add the web part we just built into the web part gallery so that I can test out my work. So let's come back to our SharePoint site here. And let's go to Site Contents, and then scroll down to Site Pages. And here I have a web part page we can use to test out our work. So I'll open that up. I'll put the page into edit mode. I'll choose Add a Web Part. There's our group, AA My Web Part Demo. There's my web part. 
Here's the title and description we set. I'll click Add to add the web part to the page. And there's our Hello World text. Now, one final thing I want to point out here before we try to deploy our solution package to a different environment is in the site settings. So I'll come over to the gear icon and I'll choose site settings. And then under site collection administration, I'm going to choose site collection features. And there's our feature, AA deploy demo web part. And you notice it's been activated. So when you deploy from Visual Studio, any features that are part of your solution will automatically get activated. At least that's the default behavior. You can actually change that if you want to in the Visual Studio settings. So now let's deploy our solution package to a different environment, install it, and get our web part working over there. I'll come back to our Visual Studio project and I'll right click on the project and choose Open Folder in File Explorer. This will navigate to the folder that contains our Visual Studio project. And from there, I'll choose the bin folder and debug. And there is our solution package. This package contains the files for our web part, and it also contains the compiled assembly for our Visual Studio project. I'll copy the solution package over to another environment, and we'll pick up the video from there. I've copied the solution package over to a new environment. This happens to be a SharePoint 2016 environment, but the steps I'm going to show you would be the same whether I was deploying to SharePoint 2013 or SharePoint 2010 for that matter. There's the solution package. And just to show you it's not currently installed, I'm going to go to Central Administration, and I'm going to go to System Settings, and Manage Farm Solutions. And as you can see, we currently have no solutions installed. I'll come back to Windows Explorer. I'll shift right click on the solution package and choose Copy as Path. Then I'll start up the SharePoint Management Shell. I'm going to run that as administrator. And I'm going to use PowerShell to add our solution package into the solution store. So that's add sp solution. And then the parameter is the fully qualified path to the solution package. I have that on the clipboard, so I'll right click and choose paste. And then I'll hit enter. Now I'll come back to central administration and I'll refresh this page. And now you can see that the solution package has been installed in the Farm Solution Store. Now to actually install the package, I can use PowerShell or I can do it right here in Central Administration. And that's what we'll do. So I'll click on the solution project. I'll choose Deploy Solution. I want the deployment to happen now. I'm getting a warning that deploying the solution will deploy assemblies to the global assembly cache. I'm aware of that, so that's OK. And then I'll scroll down and click OK to add a timer job into SharePoint to deploy this package. If you're deploying a package for the first time, the deployment generally happens pretty quickly. After the first time, if you're doing a retraction and a deployment, Generally, that's going to take a half a minute to a couple minutes to complete. All right, so now that our package has been added to the solution store and deployed, I can come over to my SharePoint site. And the first thing I need to do is to activate the feature that deploys the web part to the web part gallery. When you deploy from Visual Studio, this is done for you automatically. But when you deploy using PowerShell and or central administration, features aren't automatically activated. So I'll go to the gear icon and choose Site Settings. I'll scroll down a little bit. And then under Site Collection Administration, 
I'll choose Site Collection Features. There's our AA Deploy Demo Web Part feature. I'll activate it. Now I'll come over to Site Contents. I'll scroll down to Site Pages. I've previously added a web part page into this library. I'll open up that web part page. I'll choose Page, Edit Page, Add a Web Part. There's our AA My Web Part Demo category. There's our web part, and I'll choose Add. And there you can see our web part working correctly in the web part page. So that's an example showing how to build and deploy a farm solution containing a web part. I hope you found the information in this video valuable. Thanks for watching and have a great day.